Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, oh, I should have. Fuck, I should have gone back and seen when my mic cut out in that last episode. Uh, we are in the third dungeon slash temple slash whatever you want to call it. Linnea Mines. I have gotten the gust bellows. Or the gust jar, as I've been calling it up to this point. Uh, I think is also an appropriate name. Um. And, uh, yeah. Going for it, I guess. We're gonna finish this dungeon. This dungeon. Alright. So, there are pathways we can walk around. around. Uh, but we can't set beacons inside, because of literally no reason. Just some arbitrary thing that they set up. So... That's running up the wall. People are stomping around upstairs. My upstairs neighbors are like, I think they kill people up there and they like let them run around the apartment before they catch them and kill them. That's gotta be like, that has to be it because like I've heard people like run and scream in terror. Like I've heard people yelling for help upstairs. I probably shouldn't be saying this on here, but whatever. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's unnerving. Well, I'm not the next victim. Should be a good deal. Oh, that's relic. Totally worth it. Um, check the map real quick. I really like the, the look of the, uh, the level 3 wood shield, the gilded shield or whatever. It's sharp. It's not worth it. Is that one rupee? Not worth it! I have a good amount of rupees. Not as much as I'd like, but guess what? Those, those goddess chests, those sky cube chests, G cubes, as I call them on the streets, uh, the chests, they give me fucking, that, that's like literally all the money you ever need in the game. Fucking then died, I guess. Died a horrible sandy death. Okay, it is worth it. I was, just, uh, I was gonna say out loud, let me just make sure this is worth it. Look at this. Oh, nope. I'm sorry I'm so quiet during this. I'm just, I'm really concentrating. I'm really feeling it. I'm sorry, I'm really concentrating. All right. Let me see if I can douse in here. That was a joke. Ah, he's got the jokes. Well, this looks like a fun room. See, I like this. This is fun. <laughs> I know it's silly, but I think this is fun. Let there be roops! And the way that they, they do this with the boss is fun as well. And I, if I remember correctly, they use the Gus Bellows. Uh, I almost said Gus Jar, I didn't. Uh, they use it uh, in better and more clever ways in the future. But, you know, like... As much as I still think a jar that just shoots wind infinitely is a dumb fucking item, and it is, like, 
by itself it's dumb, but with the creativity of the Zelda people behind it, oh, I don't have a fairy anymore. Never mind. I realize I used out of gear here. And uh, when I checked uh, my items earlier, my potion, I, I saw that I didn't have it. Um, on face value, it's a dumb item, but you know, they use it, and they use it well. Better than most would, uh, I think. What? I don't even know how that hurt me. I guess the fucking spikes came up, but I didn't even see them come up. I think you can have your sword out when those guys are crawling on you, but as soon as. But if you had an item out, it just goes away automatically. That is silly. Press A to blow. Only it were that easy, fellas. That was a joke. Ah, you got the joke. Yeah, go die in a hole, you fucking monster blimp puffer sh fish. You not in the water puffer fish. My controller has been vibrating for a long time from this fucking gust bellows. My hands start to feel weird. I'll be honest with you. Also, there hasn't been a mid boss. I don't think there is going to be one. To be fair, they used the boss of this dungeon as a mid boss later in the game, so maybe like, that's the logic there? I don't know. door still sealed. It's my only way out, so that means there's a switch somewhere underneath the sand that I have yet to unveil. Yep, literally right there. Cool beans, brother! I don't know why I sounded like Marvin the Martian there. Time crystal. Down up the oh, that's actually just uh, a uh, cart. Oh, there is a time crystal in it though. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So the cart moves and generates shit as it does. I remember this kind of. That's why I called this area the minecart area, or the mine area. This is the only, this is the only part of this place that's actually kind of like a mine. All right, so like, gotta prioritize here. That's right, you fucked, you failed your mission, dickbag Mick Thin. Right, so it's gonna bring these guys back. Just gotta focus on stunning them. Right, I gotta work on my crowd control skills right now. doesn't turn around. I was worried it would. Maybe it does after a little bit. Alright. I'm ready for you. Oof. Did some considerable shield damage. There we go. If you time it well, uh, you don't take any shield damage. Uh, it's kind of like the whole point. Always time it well is what I'm saying. If not, you're a fuck up. I when I was watching my power playthrough, I mentioned this in the last episode, um, but I went back and watched my previous playthrough of uh, Zelda Skyward Sword on Hero Mode, my 
hero mode power playthrough, as I not so aptly called it. And, uh, man, I was fucking killing it with those shield berries. Literally, I was killing things with it. And there's a block box. A block box. Blocks? There we go. I wonder if you guys can hear me, like, rustling, shaking around with the, the sword. Oh, my wrist is starting to hurt. Not too bad. It's it's nothing terrible. Alright, this one, it, it feels like this one's got a little wider area. Kill this motherfucker before he does any damage to my shield. Yep. I really like the beamers in this game. I forgot about them entirely. possible way to send it. Start sending it back. Oh, you can see your dousing as well. The ground is all the braced shields. I hit B and it gives your beam in here. Funny, funny. It's literally as soon as I open my mouth, everything is ruined. Everything is awesome! Except not really. This place looks like it's going to be very hazardous in a, in a short amount of time. I like how the third one's already dropped, like, as, it, as if it's, like, trying to tell you, like, you can drop these as if you hadn't already been doing it a whole bunch in the desert. But then again, maybe, maybe the, the, the temple or dungeon was designed before the desert, or maybe that they, they were designed by different people, as we learned, uh, Mr. A, 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 G, A.G. Anuma, he designed the dungeons in Ocarina of Time. He did not direct the game. So. Huh. Interesting thought. I didn't really consider it before I saw that at the end of my Link to the Past book. Like, Highland script. I probably shouldn't be dawdling when this thing tries to try and kill me. Definitely gonna try and kill me. And the heart is still there. See? I had time for everything. Good. Good job, me. Thanks, bro. I mean, what? Yes, bring me the wind bar. Uh, I wish that was a bit faster. It would feel more action. 
it's still satisfying. Still quite satisfied. I hope no one in the comments is like, God, do you have to complain about everything, Alex? I'm just commenting on things as I approach them. I, I like it the way it is. Just thoughts I have while I play. Fucking close. And of course it's sealed and so it was fucking for nothing. Oh, could have been worse. Could have thrown me off. That's how it could have been worse. If you weren't keeping score, that happened earlier. I was sad. I didn't even fucking change targets. Fucking dick. Ah, all the red rupees are gone. Fuck. That guy drops a fuck ton of rupees. He's a very... He's a challenging opponent. This looks important. 2-3-1. I believe that's the same, uh... It's the same order that you kill the deck you scrubs and uh it's plenty of time. Not kill the attack the deck you scrubs and not in time. Interesting. Two, three. This is this is uh, a little annoying to do, but not too bad. It's just like, oh god, I, you can't move as fast as it, so. Blue, I guess. This is much better. This is Cruise. Chevy Cruise. I don't know, car joke. I, I know nothing about cars. There's just literally one inch to the left. Very mirror like in this regard, but it's not gonna fucking reach, is it? Nope. Oh, never mind. Let's see, maybe I should have just blown, 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 blown them up first. Maybe I should have darn dare done blown it up then first. Uh, get hooked. Yes, I, I think I figured it out at this point, guys. Thank you. Thank you for treating me like a child, though. It's real. It's real nice of you. Let me guess. There's gonna be a switch behind it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I would have never fucking seen that coming. All right. So according to this, it's uh the left, then the right, then the middle. If I'm interpreting that correctly.
Yep. Huzzah! <clears throat> now I have to go kill things to get the big key, I suspect. What are we doing on time? 20 minutes? Yeah, we can finish this dungeon in this episode. I was planning for this to be my last episode of this recorded session. Which means, uh, next episode, you guys can look forward to me picking up items and it telling me what the fuck they're all about again. As if I didn't already know. Did not want to have to do that again. Especially when it like lunges just here. Oh, I'm just gonna wait. Yeah. Oh, come on, I was I was jabbing so hard. Ah, all right, well, that could have gone a lot worse, so. Can't complain, I suppose. Well, I can complain, and I will, forever. Forever and always. Sorry if the capture gets a little messed up. Uh, you got the ancient circuit. It's made of shining gold. This looks like maybe part of something. That door just opens somewhere in the distance. Luckily, with this shortcut, it's not too bad. I didn't realize that that would make that a lot easier. Should have maybe thought for once in my fucking life. Jeez, I'm just kidding. It's not actually that hard on myself, but. Be weirdly funny if I was, and that may be the most depressing thing you'll hear all day. I send you off, good sir, and or miss. I like how you can see the glow around it to let you know that it's the end of the time crystal's power. Time to save, I think. 23. Yeah, okay, we'll have enough time to get through this and the cutscene after it. Or I will I will make time for the cutscene after this, so this could go on a little long. You guys will already know by now. That is why. To let you know ahead of time before we get there. That is still not the map button. Okay, I've already been through there. Weird how there's like a save point on that side and a save point on this side though. That's weird. Maybe if you like, I don't, I don't know. Oh shit. Okay, so I can get back anytime now. All right, well then let's do this. God, I got stuck in there. Actually, look at this. God, seriously, Fi. There's a great door here. It's locked tight, and I have the key. Weirdly enough, I wouldn't be able to get here without the key. That that door in the other room wouldn't have opened. Yeah, it's only logical that something important is behind the door. So why are you sitting here telling me? Well, that's not right. 
That right. That's right. Venus. I'm sorry. Finish this can of surge. Crush that can of surge. Ooh, looks like we're going into the into the the present. I was almost gonna say the past, but then I remembered the minecart behind me. So this is cool. I remember this. I like this. A uh, little mound coming after me. See, like, this is really good use of the gust bellows. Look at that badass motherfucker. Thousand year arachnid. Moldarok. Moldarok. Woo! I have to cut these off. I forgot he can grab you. Beautiful, perfect slide. Another nice slide. Now get away from me! So cool, look at that. Like, it's so smart to like have just like this infinite pool of sand and then you can see the balls kinda like move around in it. It's a great use of the gust bellows that I would have never thought of. Holding my sword up, I have to keep. That's the nerdiest thing I've ever said. I'm just holding my sword up. I need to keep re-aiming and readjusting and centering my cursor on the Wii remote. Ouch! That does too hard still. I fucking know, Fi. I swear to God, if you tell me, oh, your health is low, you should think about using a potion or recovery thing. Fucking stab you, even though you're a sword spirit. Ah! I swear I saw. All right. Ah! Found you. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, I don't know how to deal with that. There we go. I don't have to deal with anything anymore. I thought you saw him out of his armored shell before he died, but I guess not. I mentioned that in the two episodes ago, three episodes. Ah, oh, cool, there's like a boss skull that flies up. I never noticed that before. That's awesome. Yay! Heart container! That brings us up to ten hearts, which is half the total hearts. And I'm only one heart piece away from uh, an eleventh now. We'll get. We'll start our second row of hearts. Which means, my heart container-wise, I'm further than I was in my power playthrough. I looked at that file uh, before I launched this, and uh, I only had uh, nine hearts, and I had already finished this dungeon in that uh, in that playthrough. So, interesting, very interesting. I was again, I was kind of blowing through that though. Uh, I'm taking my sweet time with this. Got a heart container, your life's now increased by one. 
that took all our term, but we're gonna go long, so it's okay. I'm not gonna cut it before this super integral cutscene, because I don't want to cut this session before then. But I... Uh, as long as it doesn't throw me into the the big, the worm boss fight, as I call him, the dark one, the demon lord. Yeah. Ah, so much faster. Look at this. This is what I was dealing with before. Glorious. Ah, so cool. So pretty. You just get to take it in. I love that you can do a vertical spin attack also. I don't know if I mentioned that before. But it's fucking awesome. That's something that I, I feel like they can only do with motion controls, but I'm sure they'll they'll probably find a way to bring it into the next one. Just because it's so cool. Alright, cutscene time. I'm gonna actually turn up the volume a little bit on my TV. Sorry if it loops a bit, I don't know. I don't think it will, but Ah, look at that fucking portal. It's so cool looking. Oh, Link recognizes that sexy voice. Look at that hot bracelet, too. Uh oh! Bad news bears. Girahim Diamond Fire, I guess. Like fucking whatever. Impa! Ah, oh, so cool. Some Dragon Ball Z shit right there. Your grace quickly to the gate. Link. Link, here you'll need this where you're going. She knows what's up. You got the goddess's heart, but there's no time to admire it! You're just like, like oh, look at this. I'm gonna play you some music, Girahim. <laughs> yeah! Showing up on the scene. Link. Go! I want to say, am I late? You have my thanks. I will leave him to you. But I, I opted not to. Hey. Link. Link, you must go now. Return to the old woman in the sealed grounds. Tell her what happened here. She will know where you must go. And know that we will... I'll see you again. This isn't goodbye, Link. I promise. Hey. That was a bomb. Oh, that's how the gate gets blown up. I always wondered. Now you've done it, Link. I blame myself. I should have re, re reprimanded you the last time we met, but instead I something. I take pleasure in punishing you, but I have no time for recreation. The next time, I'll do more than just beat you senseless. I'll make the affair so excruciating you'll de deafen yourself with the shrill sound of your own screams. Link is sad. You know, he did the right thing. He fucking, he was such a badass. Came on the scene. Not too late. In fact, he was early, I would say. Well, there we go. This is where I got to in my, uh... uh I promise and Zelda's to text Zelda's aura. The moment the gate was destroyed, Zelda's presence disappeared from Irene's. You can no longer search for her with your dowsing ability. Sweet. Zelda's companion instructed you to meet with an ancient one in the sealed grounds. This corresponds with the records in my memory. I propose we travel to the sealed temple. Well, this is uh, as far as I got in my previous attempt at Let's Playing 
The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. So, the true battle starts here. And this is going to be the end of my session here as well. So, if there's never an episode after, after this, then it's just not destined to be. But I think there will be. No worries. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, uh, actually, let's go check on our Goron friend, because I bet he's amazed at all the shit he just saw. What? You made it inside? You mean to say a secret patch I didn't know about? Why didn't you tell me? Why did you not tell me, bud? I was just about to give up and go home when I heard this huge crash. I rushed back and found the way it been clear. I'm going to explore inside. I have to go back to the sealed grounds soon. So it looks like I'm going to be busy. Alright. Well. Actually. We're gonna, we're gonna go out of our way to blow this shit. Not blow you. Not you. But like that. Well. Thank you for watching, guys. Next time on Alex Plays Zelda, we're gonna go back to the sealed grounds. And we are going to encounter... A very interesting creature. Uh, a creature Link has seen before in his nightmares. But until then, I will see you guys next time.